Welcome to the Berkshire Museum's Daily Doodle. I'm Liz. And I'm Pete. The Daily Doodle is where we take the word of the day and use it to inspire some doodles. So let's grab some paper and maybe something to draw with and, and let's, let's get, get doodling. doodling! Hi, Peter. Welcome to today's Daily Doodle. Hi, Liz. Today's word of the day is identify. And what identify Ooh. means is to figure out who or what something is. Okay. And in part of this, we're going to identify what you are doodling. Yeah, it's the mystery of my drawing. Wow. All I've got is a big swirly shape right now. What could it be? Don't know why I'm singing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it magnifying have, glass? It is a magnifying glass because uh, they help you with identifying things. Ooh, what could we identify through the magnifying glass? Uh, well, you might be an inspector looking at fingerprints. You might be trying to look very closely at, like, a, a bug or something to see what that bug is. Okay. Uh, you might be looking at uh, a little crumb and trying to figure out what that crumb is. Is that cheese? Did you it is cheese? cheese. I'm drawing Question. some cheese. With a magnifying glass, does that make things bigger or smaller? It makes things bigger, so to magnify something is to make it bigger. Two definitions, one doodle. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of what a, a, a glass that makes things smaller would be called. A minifier? I don't think we want things to get smaller. I think, every, like, telescopes, in a way, make things bigger. Yeah. And magnifying glasses make things bigger and projectors make things bigger i can't think of anything that makes things smaller i'm sure there is but i still yeah um i'm adding some wood grain to the handle Ooh, ooh, shrink rays there we go <laughs> i quit <laughs> uh if uh any of you at home want to make uh your wood look a little bit more like wood Paint it one color of brown and then take a very thin, darker color of brown and just make like some swirly lines on top. Oh, I see what you did there. Good tip, good tip, pro tip brought to you by Peter. Yeah. Um, then we got a big, you know, golden ring around. And then I mm -hmm. just uh, found a nice cheese color. What is it? That's the color of the cheese that is in my fridge right now. I think it's brie. Yeah, yeah brie cheese in my fridge. Do you like then, brie? You like cheddar? Do you like I, American? Mm, Pepper Jack, Colby Jack. Okay, I gotta stop listing things. <laughs> well, they're all good cheeses, and now sometimes when you get like a whole cheese wheel, it has that like tough skin on the outside that's a little bit darker. Yeah, that's just like the protective barrier. But I see that you put that in there. That's pretty cool. Like, good job adding all the detail to your cheese. Cheese, chrome it. And cheese. then I make a bold decision. Mm, where you going? I'm not getting rid of my drawing, everyone. It is just on another layer. I just decided that, you know, I didn't want this floating on the background. I wanted a table. What? So I need some little black, black marks, and then I'm going to take a little smudgy tool I have and just smudge. Oh, you did smudge it up. Smudge it up. Because I wanted, I wanted this, this table to have a little bit more texture to it. Yeah. Whoa, I did, totally did not see this coming. Peter's keeping me on my feet for the doodles. Oh, yeah, get some, I wanted a nice textured table where the cheese is sitting. Have any of you doodlers at home tried that? You drew your objects and then drew something behind it to put it on? Like Peter have done with his cheese and his table? Like, it's not just an object, it's a scene. Of people. Peter has created a scene here. Well, what I really love to do with my doodles is usually while I'm doodling, I'm making up a story while I'm doing it. Ooh. So just in my head, I'm telling myself a story. So I'll start off with just like, well, there's a magnifying glass. What is he looking at? Well, he's looking at cheese. Why is he looking at cheese? Well, maybe something in this kitchen has stolen some cheese and he's finding a clue to where that cheese is. And then I'm, and then I'm like, well, who could the cheese thief be? 
Not me. I'm not the cheese thief. Are you drawing the cheese thief? I am drawing the cheese thief there now. So I've got myself. It's got big round ears. Peter, are you the cheese thief? I am not the cheese thief. Big brown ears and likes cheese. And it's not Peter. Hmm. Trying to get some eyes on it. There we go. Oh. Nice, soft, little little pink nose. Oh, I see it. It's a mousy mouse. It is a little mousy mouse who's looking at like, oh, no, I left some cheese behind. Oh, no, we can't do that. Someone's investigating it, wondering, where did he go? Why did he leave his cheese? <laughs> I, your doodle's amazing, Peter. I just, I <laughs> But grab those pens, pencils, paintbrushes, and just keep doodling. <laughs> All right, just <laughs> keep doodling. You. you still did. <laughs> Later, friends. Bye.